Hello, Jeff Sauer here. You might know me as Jeff Lytics, and I'm going to try something new today. Google made a major product announcement to the Google Analytics product, and I wanted to offer my instant reaction. Now, I know that I'm going into this with very little insider information as to what's going on, and so I'm reading the news at the same time as you, and I've combed through several sources, done a little bit of homework, and I just wanted to share with you what I think that it means for the average Joe user of Google Analytics, as well as some of those enterprise users who are looking to take advantage and looking to take their analytics to the next level. So let's get into it. So obviously you know by now that Google made a very big announcement today. And if you aren't sure what that is, I'm just gonna let you know that it's called Google Analytics 360 Suite. So it's a suite of tools centered around Google Analytics, if you will, that helps you better measure the experience of the customers on your website. And there's a lot more to it, and we'll get into it in just a second, but it's grabbed many headlines. So here's the Google Analytics blog talking about the headline of what's going on here. If you read through that, you can get some more information about what's happening here. You have Marketing Land wrote about it, and then major publications like CIO Magazine have written about it. Search Engine Land wrote about it as well. This is one of my favorite articles because they start to get into some analysis and some opinion on it. Business Insider talks about it. And they're all pretty much saying the same thing, and they're really focusing on what products Google has launched. There's not a lot of opportunities for analysis on these people's end because they don't know, they, they haven't really used the product yet. You can tell that they're just talking about what Google's talking about. And so the concept of what is Google Analytics 360 for any of us, the people who are using is basically it's more of an announcement right now that they're coming out with these things and then everything's a beta and you have to either be invited by Google or be a premium user of their product in order to get in there right now. So as I said earlier, the average Joe user doesn't really, it's not tangible yet what Google Analytics 360 is to them and what it means to them, but that doesn't mean that we can't speculate. And know that I'm recording this video the day that they announced this. It's uh, Tuesday, March 15th that I'm recording this and it's in the afternoon. So after you know letting this announcement sink in for a little bit and doing some homework, I'm recording this video and I'm going to make some uh, analysis and some predictions. I don't have, like I said, I don't have any insider information before this happened, coming into this, but um, it doesn't mean that I'm not gonna try to do some kind of analysis. And so stay tuned for that piece and, and my analysis piece as we go through this. But I, I really, like I said, I'm reacting at the same time you are. And so I, I might be wrong with what we think here and I might, you know, I might end up being right. It'd be funny if we revisit this video in the future and see, you know, once this thing's new and it's, it's old news instead of new news, it would be interesting to see whether I'm right or not. So what does it all mean? That's what I'm gonna to try to get into here. Well, there's a lot that's still be, to be determined. If you go to Google's website, you can't even really get to this website without without sort of sneaking around. They actually, they say you don't have access because you're not one of our paying subscribers yet. But I was able to find this where they talk a little bit about what they're doing. Basically, all that they're giving you is product names and then what they think that product's gonna do. Now you'll see here, three of the products are in beta. Two of the products are ones that we are familiar with, which is Analytics 360 and Tag Manager 360. And then the Attribution 360 is the Adometry product, which Google purchased a few years ago, and now they're making it more integrated into their suite. And so that's just a renaming of that tool. So there's a lot of incomplete information here, which as an analyst myself, and, and you might be an analyst if you're watching this video, it really drives us crazy, but we're gonna try to make do with it and get as much information as we can. Here's what we have gathered. Here's what the Jeffletics team has been able to gather. The Analytics 360 is basically Google Analytics Premium. So if you are using Google Analytics Premium or have considered it, then you would be purchasing Analytics 360. I read a note somewhere that this is gonna be announced and the, the change is gonna happen sometime in May. So there's about two months where it's still gonna be called Google Analytics Premium, then it's gonna be called Google Analytics 360. Google Tag Manager 360, it's, it basically says it's a better version of their popular tag management product and platform. I'm not sure what makes it better at this point. I haven't seen a lot of literature on this, but I'd assume that it's more of an enterprise version of Google Tag Manager. So certain guarantees of uptime, service level agreements, those types of things, maybe a, a different interface, maybe a more push button, button integration with these other Google products. I'm guessing that it's more of an interface and more tightly changed because the Google Tag Manager product is pretty awesome as far as the execution standpoint. So those will probably be more aesthetics and more business level requirements than functionality requirements. Although I know that team is always building a better version of Google Tag Manager. Optimize 360, this is, you know, so this is like the 
answer maybe to amateurs test and target. It's an A-B split testing tool. It's a standalone tool. So Google's done a lot of optimizing tools in the past. They had Google Website Optimizer, which is one of my favorite products of all time that met its untimely demise. They have the Google Content Experiments feature that's available in Google Analytics right now. They've gone through a few incarnations of this. This seems like it's its own standalone product. That's why I'm saying that it might be a competitor to t test and target from Adobe. I might have said amateur, but I meant Adobe test and target. And basically it's allowing you to test, test these things based on different criteria. Because this is a suite of products, my guess is that this is gonna be a little bit more tightly integrated to your customer, whatever you know about your customer, whether it's traffic source or analytics, the variables we have in our analytics, in Google Analytics, or if it's more tightly involved with our user data that we get from the AdWords or DoubleClick platform. I think that it's gonna be a testing tool, but it's gonna be have more segmentation capabilities. So it won't just be a straight up A-B test, it's gonna be testing and personalization. I think that's the only way they can really release this tool as its own tool and expect you to pay for it. So I'd expect that to be part of the product as well. Attribution 360, this is the one that used to be Adometry. Now this is like a enterprise level attribution system. Basically you give all of your data, all your marketing hit data to this company Adometry and then they do the modeling for you. So it's really advanced attribution. Um, I don't know if the platform's automated. I, I believe that it's a manual process, but I don't know enough about that to really weigh in on it, but I'm get, it's, it's just really a rebranding and saying this is part of our suite of tools now, as opposed to a standalone tool. Now, from a sales standpoint, I think having a suite of tools really does help uh, sell it into the enterprise so they know that if, if they have any problems coming up or anything they need to solve, then there's a set of tools from Google makes the Google product stand alone and, and make it stand on its own as opposed to just Google Analytics, just measuring your website. Because most companies, especially at the enterprise, aren't really thinking only on their website. They're thinking about integration. They're thinking about platforms they can use well into the future. Then we have the Audience Center, which is a brand new product. I, I, I've read a little bit about this. It's a DMP data management platform. And that's, that's all I've really seen about it. It's Google's first time doing a platform of this level. And it basically lets you have different inputs and outputs and, and measure what's going on in between them. But that's, that's as much as I know about it. I, I can't really weigh in on it because I think that I'll be wrong. So I'm gonna stay out of the wrongness here. And then there's a Data Studio 360, which is another beta, and that's a brand new product as well. Now, what I've seen about this one is it's a reporting and data visualization tool. And it's basically a way to take all these things that are happening in your suite and turn it into an integrated report. So that, you know, from an enterprise perspective, if you integrate all these tools together, it might be the opportunity to not have to use your own third-party business intelligence suite to get data out of it. It might be that they have a series of APIs that, that Google has available to you where you can do your own consolidated reporting. It might be a, a Tableau replacement. It might be a replacement for other tools that are out there. Uh, only once we see a demo, we'll be able to weigh in on that a little bit more. Basically, it's, it's sort of a integrated reporting suite. Now, I think a lot of what you can get out of the Data Studio 360 is gonna come down to what you can put into your audience center. So I, I had read an article that Paul Muray, who is the lead developer of Google Analytics, great guy, he's been around since the Urchin days, actually been around for quite some time, seen several of his keynotes. He's saying that the Audience Center is gonna be an open platform. So you can put more than just the Google data in there. So hopefully um, that comes true. I don't really know what it means, but we'll see that more as we go forward. So this Audience Center could end up being the most important piece of this whole announcement. I think that it will be, but it's also so vague that I don't, like I said, I can't weigh on it. I don't wanna be wrong. So that's what I'm hoping happens, but I'm not positive on it. So how will this affect me? That's probably what you wanna know. How will this affect me? Well, if you use the standard version of Google Analytics, don't worry yet. There's no sign that Google is gonna change Google Analytics. They said it's gonna be the same. Even your sign-in's the same. Doesn't look like it's gonna change that much initially. I think that the first change might be a naming change or some kind of, maybe not even a naming change, but some kind of login change type thing around May when they when they move premium to Analytics 360. That might change where we go, where we log into. I'm not sure what's gonna happen there. Obviously, if you're a premium analytics customer, there's a few things you're gonna have a name change and it's gonna become Google Analytics 360. This is gonna happen in May. You're also gonna have a lot more tools available to you by Google that you're gonna be able, that you're gonna to have to pay for, I guess. That'd be a premium um, purchase. You might get some some kind of 
initial test just to try it out, but it's going to be standalone products that you can purchase from Google. You might have a sweet price, like a price you can pay for all of it. And you might also find that, that it reduces your costs in certain areas, maybe with the premium product, and then you also, but you still have to pay for these other pieces of software. So I'm guessing it's going to be price competitive to the Adobe suite and the other ones that are out there. But basically, it's going to give you more analysis opportunities, but it's probably going to cost you a little bit more money to get that done. All these new products are going to be paid products. Uh, the target is large companies with a large online presence or the, you know, either one, either a large company or a company with a large online presence. These are competing with online enterprise solutions that are offered by Adobe, Oracle, and Salesforce. So here's my analysis of what we talked about. You've already heard some of my analysis, but we'll do a little bit more here. The writing has been on the wall for a long time that Google needs to introduce a more of a marketing suite because there's other tools that are out there that they don't have. And that's one of the main reasons why you could purchase one of their competitors products, maybe like an Adobe suite over the Google Analytics suite. And it all dates back to some of the technology biases that have been around since the original Ur Urchin product that has been around for well over 10 years. Um, Google Analytics itself has been around for over 10 years. And before that, it was called Urchin. And Urchin was meant to measure the web, not to measure the mobile web, the, the web, the dynamic web we have today. And so this is one way that they can sort of ditch the paradigms that were available in the old way of tracking the web without having to redo Google Analytics every two years or three years. They can just basically bolt on or, or create a suite of products so Google Analytics can measure what it needs to measure. But then there's also alternative solutions out there as well. The new premium products are going to give you more measurement paradigms, more opportunities. You might not need to use your own business intelligence suite in order to do analysis. You might be able to do it all within the Google Analytics 360 environment within their product. We'll see how that goes. And it's also a new revenue stream for Google. And that's a good thing and a bad thing. A new revenue stream for Google means you're going to get a lot more development resources going into these areas, into these areas. But it's also going to widen the gap with the average Joe user of Google Analytics. So just be clear that this is an enterprise offering for enterprise customers. The rift between Google Analytics and Premium and the other products is going to get wider, I think. There's going to be more support for the Premium stuff. And we'll see if it trickles down to the small, medium businesses to be able to use it or when it comes into the product. But I, I remain hopeful, but I'm not sure how that's going to be because I can obviously see if there's a lot of money going into these Premium customers. Why would they invest as much in the free product, even though I think that Google's heart is in the right place when it comes to making small to medium sized businesses better? There's also the economic issue that we have here. I think the new pricing though, the new pricing model might make Google Analytics 360 more accessible to small to medium businesses. Uh, there's, a, there's a sort of a hurdle that you have to get over in order to get to Google Analytics Premium. And I think that it prices out a lot of organizations. If they go more towards the amount of data you use as opposed to a flat fee, then I, it might be that we can see more people starting to use it. it might be more reasonable to get to that point. I really hope that the trickle down effect happens, but I'm not sure when that's going to be. And then look for some more significant marketing efforts behind this new product. We're going to see a lot more going on about Analytics 360. I've already seen a lot of headlines. I'm sure Google's doing their outreach and product outreach to this new product. And I'm excited for the team at Google, a lot of great people over there. I'm excited for the organizations that can take their analysis to the next level. A little scared for the small to medium sized businesses, the nonprofits, the people who have relied on Google Analytics for their analysis and for their data. Well, it's yet to be seen how that's going to affect them. But I think that uh, over the years with all the updates, Google's still done a good job of making their core analytics product, the free one, still accessible to the masses. And that's how they've gotten such a great market share. And so I don't expect that to change, but I also want to make sure that we are cautiously optimistic with it. So in summary, what have we talked about today? Google Analytics is a very big announcement. Most users are not going to be affected by this. It's really more of a branding thing for them, just the naming of what we have. Big companies are going to get more big company stuff. And the standard product appears to be unchanged as of now. I hope that I'm not wrong about that. I predict that I will be just as wrong as my predictions were. So if you want to get more information about what we talked about this video, go to jefflytics.com slash analytics360. And here you can get some of the notes, uh, articles that we link to, and other information that's available to you. And so that's it. That's all we have for our instant reaction to Google Analytics 360. Looking forward to doing more of these reaction videos as the time comes forward. 
And if you're interested in Google Analytics, check out my analytics course. It's something that I'm very proud of, something I've worked really hard with over the last few months, and it's fully out of beta now. So it's a complete course that you can take to learn Google Analytics and get certified, usually within about 30 days or so. So thanks for your time.